Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to test out this yarn ball winder. I got this for Christmas from my friend last year. I haven't even opened it yet, but I just wanted to try it out and I thought, why not just film it? So let me go ahead and open this up. This is from, from craftdestiny.com and this is all of their social media handles. And then on the other side, it has the directions. So I'll follow that later. And I think, yeah, they have their website here if I need more help, but hopefully I won't need that. Anyways, this is what it looks like on the inside. I'll read that later. That is. Paper was, or the little card is just their welcome information, and then it has all of their info again. And then it also comes with this paper to show you how to attach everything together. So that's what that looks like. It also comes with this little pouch, and inside it has a. There's a ruler in there, some stitch markers, and just a couple other things. This is a cute little pouch. Also, my hand is greasy because I have ointment on there since I have a cut. But of course, the main piece, the yarn ball. So this is what it looks like, and for step one, it just wants us to attach this wire arm to this little um, knob right here. So you just push it, and it locks in just like that. Step two says to align the bobbin to the base and then rotate it counterclockwise. So I'm just gonna put it in there. And then it does have the arrows to show you which way it goes. I don't wanna break it, but okay, there it goes. And then for step three, I do need to put this or to attach this bottom part to a desk. I'm gonna move my location. Okay, so I'm at my desk now and it just says that we now need to attach this part to our desk. So. I'll just put it here and then we're going to secure it at the bottom. Okay, so this is the yarn I'm using and then now the directions are right there, but it says that I'm supposed to take the yarn and weave it through this and attach it to here. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to weave it like that, I'm assuming. Maybe, I don't know. And then we're going to attach it to this thing here. I think I made that too long. Let me adjust it really quick. Okay, so I have the yarn right here weaved through this little thingy. I don't know if I did that right. If I didn't do it right, I'll just fix it afterwards, but let's just try it this way first. I have it here into this little thingy, whatever. Now let's turn it and see what happens. First off, sorry for that messy background back there, but um, this thing is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I messed it up. It went down here. Darn. What did I do? Okay, there we go. Oh, it came out of this thing. Okay, let's fix it. So I'm going to weave this back. I'm pretty sure I did that wrong, but whatever. Okay, let's do it again. I think I did it right now because it looks kind of secured, but um, I don't know if you guys can see how that looks, but that's how we've did in this time. What the frick? Okay, so here's the direction. It does just say to um, put the yarn through the wire arm, which I did there. Um, I don't know if I'm putting it in wrong, so I'm going to check the website really quick, but this part keeps getting loose, so I don't know why it's attaching wrong, unless I'm just doing it too fast. Yeah, see it keeps coming off so let me just check the website really quick okay so i watched the video on the on their website and i'm done because um i didn't realize you're actually supposed to hold the yarn as well so i did weave it in right on that other side but you're supposed to um, hold it with your other hand while you um, twist it darn it now it's stuck again hold on okay so i'm on this side and even though i was holding it it freaking is all tangled up right here Jesus Christ. But um, anyways, I didn't tell you guys the price on this because I obviously got it as a gift and I didn't check out the website till now, but um, it's, I think it's on sale for like $38 right now, but you can get it on Amazon for, I saw it for 20, but I don't know if it's still in stock. Um, but yeah, anyways, this thing was, uh, Okay, sorry, I was trying to fix the thing, but it got tangled a bit. I'm going to try it one more time. Let's see what happens. And um, yeah, I think I mentioned in the last clip, it was around 38 on their website. I think it originally retails about $40, but then you can get it on Amazon for about $20 to $30. It kind of just depends on 
uh, wood celery fine, but let's try it again. Maybe just because I'm filming it that um, I can't get this right. I don't know why I'm just having bad luck right now, but this thing keeps coming off of this wire arm thing and then it goes down to the bottom right here and i am holding it i did watch the video on their website i weaved it through the same way the lady did so i'm not sure maybe it's just me but let me go ahead and take this out and try it one more time so i'm giving you a view from a different angle so you can see this part right here but i have it weaved through the wire arm and i'm going to hold it gently on this side and then now i'm going to turn it Okay, see, and it comes off again, like, I don't know what's going on. What I was thinking, why don't I just hold the yarn right here instead of weaving it through that thing? So let's see what happens. Okay, so that is so much better. I might as well just hold it. It's less of a hassle than dealing with that. Plus, you have to hold the yarn anyway, so you don't really need that thing. So, oops, wrong way. Now to turn it again. This is working so fast. This is how much yarn I have left. There's still a lot left, but so far what I think is you definitely don't need this arm thing because well, so well, actually, these pictures don't really show you anything. But um, in the video, like I keep mentioning, she puts it through this and then she holds it on the side. And I personally think that you just need to leave this out of it because it's personally not working for me. It just keeps coming off of it, no matter how I weave it or it tangles at that side. So since you have to hold it anyways, might as well just hold it here and then keep turning it because it works better. And yeah, let me go ahead. Oh lord, let me go ahead and finish this, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Or how to take it off if i know how i'm back to tell you that i think i got the hang of it i feel like i have it in the perfect position now and i'm gonna show you again this time using the arm thingy so okay so for some reason when i start to film it is when i mess up That last clip was user error. Let's try this one last time. I'm back with an update and this is what it looks like right now. I think this part looks so cute. Now the issue, I don't really have an issue with the product itself, more so of the yarn. So you can see it's a tangled mess. I'm like on the verge of wanting to cut it off right now, but the issue I have is that, okay, so when I, it's not really an issue, but um, when I crochet, I usually grab from the outside and I don't pull from the middle. So what do you guys do? Do you pull from the outside or in the middle? But um, I think that when I pull from the middle, I always deal with like a tangled mess. So since I usually do it this way, I don't really have to deal with this kind of stuff. So I wouldn't see the need to use this that often, but I do like how it looks. But um, yeah, I do both methods, but I feel like more so often I will grab it from the outside because I feel like um it's just i don't know it's easier for me you do have to like unwind it while you crochet but that's just it, it doesn't bother me that much but yeah so far so good i think this machine is really sturdy as well i think it's built really well um the whole issue in the beginning with this thing i think it was just all me i was like holding it wrong and trying to film at the same time while it being my first time using it but yeah this is what it looked like so far i'm almost done so i'll be done in the next clip and i'll show you how i take this off, off. i was able to untangle the yarn and this is what it looks like now that it's done i think it looks really good yeah so you just literally pull it off so right as i was pulling it off my phone had full storage so i had to delete a couple of things but let's continue with this here is what the yarn looks like out of the winder this is what it looks like i really like how it looks and yeah i really do like this product i think the whole thing was it being my first time using it but personally i wouldn't purchase it myself for 40 bucks i mean maybe yeah i wouldn't purchase it at all i, I do like it as a gift i think it's really nice but i think it's not really a necessity is that bad to say I don't want to sound too negative, but as a gift, I do really love this. Um, since I have it, of course, I'm going to use it, but I personally wouldn't purchase it myself only because, you know, $20 to $30 for this is pretty pricey, in my opinion, only because I'm not the type of person to, um, you know, roll their yarn in a ball. I don't even do that by hand because I just leave it laying around and then crochet as is because it doesn't personally bother me. But if you are that type of person, I think this is really good. Um, I think the quality is good. Now, I have only used it once. This was just like, I just wanted to try it out on camera. 
camera but um so far i think it's really good and yeah this is um how it turned out i do like it so i just wanted to give you an overview before i end this video but this is what it looks like so you can see the bottom right here you just screw this or you turn this part and then it tightens to your desk and then here's the handle again here is that arm thing and yeah this is what it looks like and that is the end of my video so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one i know i just ended the video but here is my little update i have three in total now i do like the way it looks and i feel like it's going to help me be a little bit more organized or make the yarn look more you know put together and neat but yeah this is what i have so far i don't know if i'm gonna do any more today because i kind of got a headache but yeah this is all i have right now and i just wanted to show you guys